Hello YouTube, this is Green Tea aka Tara and I'm just setting up a little video on how to frame your artwork. So first, let's see, so I have the mat, so usually, I don't know if you can see that, so this is a mat that you can get at like Joanne or Michaels, so I'll have this label right here, um, most of my prints are between like 11 by 17, 12 by 18 paper. Sometimes, unfortunately, the paper isn't always um, the same size where I get my prints um, copied at. So, but when you go to Michael's, you'll have this little thing right here. And this is just the basic white mat that you can get. They have different colors. Most of the time they have black. They'll have a blue one. So, but we're just gonna do a white mat. And here's your picture. This is um, an originally an oil painting and I had this printed. It's laugh often, cry sometime, pray all the time. So you can get this on my website. So we're gonna get this put in the mat and I'm going to show you how to frame it. So it's just a small print um, <clears throat> and then here is a basic black frame. So these are also available usually at Joanne, Michaels, oh also Hobby Lobby. They may have those uh, mats, that white mat that I just showed you too. I'll hold it up again. So this is just like a basic white mat that you can get at Michael, Joanne, or Hobby Lobby. All right. So usually I have them come in these clear protective sleeves. They're waterproof. <clears throat> so you take this out of the sleeve, like so. And you can see it has a little bit of a white border. Most of the time they will have a white border. Um, that's kind of good though, because it can kind of help you figure out how to center it and ad adhere it to the mat. So I have one that's already open, so I don't have to take that one out. And then I'm just gonna try and center this around the mat. So I'll take this, put this face down and center this around the mat. So it's not perfect because it's not taped right now. It may cut off a little bit of the picture, but what I'm gonna do is try and center it around that mat so you can't see the white, number one. And number two, it captures most of the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So if it cuts off her hair a little bit, that's okay. Um, I do want to get the praying hands though. So I'm just going to get some tape. And this is really good. Um, I don't know, clear scotch tape. <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut at least four little sticky pieces. And I'll show you here in just a second. So I'm gonna stick them on each corner once I get it centered. I'll just stick them to the table here. If you have any questions, I have some artwork behind me as well on the wall. You can leave it in the comments below. Um, you can also go to my website, artworkbytara.com. And you can also message me if you are interested in any prints or originals. I'm just going to put my glasses on real quick so I can see a little bit better. There we go. I need to see what I'm doing. Alright, so once you get it where you want, 
just go ahead and I'm only gonna do like two corners because I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on the end and I'm gonna turn it around so I can check to see where its placement is at. And then I'm gonna put the tape down too hard. So let's see. So that looks pretty good. Oh, actually, it looks pretty good to me. Um, I like this usually how this looks in a basic black mat, but I just have white, so I'm gonna do the white. <clears throat> I just need to readjust it a little bit because I can still see some of the white from the print. You may have to try this a few times just to get the right placement. And if you don't, <clears throat> another idea you can do too, uh, if you don't get like the pre-made mats at Michael's, Joanne, or Hobby Lobby, so Walmart actually has them sometime too, but usually the arts and crafts stores are the first ones that I gravitate to. So I'm doing this over, so just bear with me. Because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so. As you can see, I have no problem with color. I love color. My wall is orange. I have some bright pillow cases, some bright pillows on my couch. My neutral is kind of like a gray for me. I'm an artist, so I love bright colors. Um, oh, what I was saying was as far as ideas, um, you can always get like a basic, I'll show you the frame too. The frame that I held up earlier is a size 16 by 20. So any prints that are like around 11 by 17 or 12 by 18, usually you can get like a mat like this, what I'm doing right now, and then get a 16 by 20 frame. So you could, instead of getting the custom made mats to a 16 by 20 frame, I've got this and then <clears throat> usually the best place I like to go get like a custom mat is Michael's and they're usually pretty inexpensive so you can do the custom matting and get a basic frame and then do it that way to save a little bit of money but <clears throat> If you're okay with getting a pre-made mat, okay, I finally got it. So I put it on the back, um, four corners right there. And then I'm gonna do two extra. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to secure it a little bit more. Still learning, I'm not perfect, but you know. All right, so we have it. Now this is, uh, we have it in the mat. Now we're gonna do the 16 by 20 frame right here. It's just a basic black frame. And usually it has these little cardboard thingies on the back. And then depending on how you orient it, you can hang it this way or this way. Since this is a vertical image, we're gonna go ahead and place it face down <clears throat> in the frame. Okay. All right. And then make sure once you get that, that these 
or on the side that you'll be able to hang it on. So I'm going to put this in the frame. That's the plan. And we're having a little, little uh, struggles, please stand by. <clears throat> These little metal clamps that they have in the back, usually it's best to try and push them far, as far back as you can so you can get the piece of cardboard back in there. <clears throat> Which is what I'm trying to do right now. But this piece of cardboard will not let me be great. That's all right. We're going to make it work. There we go. Got it. And try and push it. Push it down. There we go. Perfect. All right. So it is in there nice and secure. And we're going to get a little bit of help from these scissors and push these little metal pieces around the cardboard. These can be really sharp, so you've got to be careful that you don't cut yourself because I've done that before and it's not fun. There we go. Awesome. All right, one more, well, three more actually. Okay. We got it in there, perfect. All right, so the cardboard is in there and we have our picture framed. Awesome. So, <clears throat> And then once you hang it, usually you can get a nail and secure it on there. And then usually you can just slide it on. All right. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions. And all the work that you see, um, this is actually available from my website. Um, you can go to artworkbytara.com. If you are interested in the framed one, please let me know. Uh, follow me on social media, Green Tea. Instagram is Green Tea. Facebook is artworkbytara.com. My website's artworkbytara.com. And, and of course, this YouTube channel. So thank you so much, guys. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.